everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am gonna be sharing with you the mistakes and regrets that we made during our home renovation. Now, I don't want you to think for a second that we're not pleased with it. We are literally obsessed with our house and to be honest, it's like my most proud achievement I've done to date, like managing this refurb. So overall, we are so happy with it, but obviously as like clueless renovators, when we started this, there was a lot of things we didn't know and of course, with that comes a few mistakes or maybe like stuff we'd do differently next time. Totally normal. So I just wanted to share them with you so that um, if you are planning a renovation, these are just some things to consider. And maybe to other people, these aren't an issue, but to others it might have been, you know, saving yourself a huge error or costly mistakes. So let's dive in. I've made a little list on my phone and I'm just gonna go through every single room in the house and just tell you the things that we would maybe do differently next time. Let's start with the hallway. This is the entrance to our home and even though the shape is slightly odd, I'm really happy with the shape because it's given us a kind of like storage area and it's also given us that walkway down to the hall with that glass door so you can see into the garden when you first walk in the house. That was like one of my main things, so not a regret. Even though I think the shape might be slightly odd to other people, it's not your you know typical hallway layout, but it works for us. The one thing I would say about the hallway is we went with a matte paint on the walls. Now, that is my biggest regret. We should have done eggshell or like a wipe clean paint. People coming in, scuffing the walls with bags. We have Winnie, our dog, and especially in the winter when we've been on muddy walks, she comes in and she just shakes in the hallway. No matter how many times you try and make her shake out Side, she will still do that final shake in the hallway and that is mud splattered up the walls. So 100% next time I am going to be painting the walls eggshell and actually I'm planning on doing it very soon <laughs> before the winter comes. We are also still working on this area so this is very temporary. We're going to be boxing in this shoe storage and then we're also going to be putting a mirror and a uh, stone top for keys and storage on this wall and then a gallery wall here. So that vlog will be coming very shortly as well. Then let's go into the downstairs toilet. So I would say in this room, once again, it does need a wipeable paint on the walls. Um, the sink is very small and obviously that was intended because this is an extremely small space. And whilst it's the perfect fit for the room, when people are washing their hands, water just gets splashed on the two walls on the side. So we've got obviously the wipeable tile behind the sink, but when people go to grab the hand towel, they kind of splash water droplets up the wall and it is streaked. So we will also be painting this room with wipe clean paint. I would also say in the bathroom, the extractor fan in here is really loud and this is a sensor. So when you open the door, the light comes on and the extractor fan comes on and it lasts 15 minutes. And whilst I love that, it's really loud and like I can be in the loft here and I can hear it. So it's not even that much more expensive to get uh, silent extractor fans. So 100% worth getting silent extractor fans in your bathrooms. We have it in the main floor bathroom and it was because it was the last room they did and my electrician offered it to me and I wish I'd been offered it before because I definitely would have gone for it for the loft and for the downstairs toilet as well. Maybe something we will change as well in the future. Okay, so now in the kitchen. Obsessed with this room. I promise I'm not gonna say I love each room every time we get to it because I literally love every room. This room is great, it functions so well. Uh, so no comments about the layout or anything like that. But what I would say, and it's just, ugh, it annoys me so much now, that we went for a plastic sink. Now I didn't realize it was plastic. I thought it was like stone, like a concrete type sink. And when it arrived, I couldn't tell. Wish I had gone for a ceramic sink. Now, one thing I would say is with any kind of hardworking product in your house, for example, like your flooring in your hallway or your sink that you use every single day, go with the best quality you can afford. I really wish we'd done a ceramic sink in the main kitchen because obviously we use a sink like all day, every day. We have a ceramic one in the utility room and it is so much better, so hard wearing. And it's kind of like where I bleach my cloths or like we do when he's dog food and wash that up and stuff. So I'm, I'm really glad that we do have the ceramic sink in the utility. I just wish we had it in the kitchen as well. Okay, well, whilst we're talking about the utility, I would just say this one tiny thing. We did bespoke carpentry to house in our like double stack laundry and all our mops and brooms and stuff. And 
the spacing that I did either side of the washing machine is like exact to the millimeter and I just wish I'd had a little bit more wiggle room because on our tumble dryer there is a vent that you have to pull off to drain out the water because it's one of those like heat condenser like water pump um, tumble dryers it's not vented and it's just a real fiddle and a faff and it just kind of you know life could be a tiny bit easier on the like three times a year we use the tumble dryer so yeah i would just say if you're doing kind of bespoke carpentry and stuff for housing things like uh, appliances definitely just give a little bit of space anyway for that ease and function but also because the heat that they give off so it's just good to have breathing space you know the lounge totally fine like i'm really happy with this room we did this up three years ago and then we kind of gave it a little refresh last year during the build but overall it is great serves its purpose you know we put the fire on in the winter get cozy in there we actually like barely use the room in the summer unless we've got like guests over and it's too cold to sit outside so love the room literally looks like this constantly and it never gets messed up so <laughs> that's great <laughs> um okay so upstairs we go the hallway so one thing here i did different color switches for different rooms and even though they're all the same brand dowsing and reynolds and i just i love the plates i love the quality of the switches i just wish i'd done them all the same color um, and i really wish i'd just gone for this off-white because it is beautiful it works in every room and it works against like any color of paint so i kind of wish i hadn't done the black in the hallway it kind of just jars with me a bit that um, at this end of the hallway we've got the black switch plates and then next to the bathroom we've got the white one so i don't really know what i was thinking there but i probably wouldn't do that again and just kind of keep it all unison consistency throughout the house another thing whilst we're just in the hallway because it's quite a high traffic area on the carpet big regret going for the cheapest underlay we went for a really good quality carpet and the underlay i just went for like the cheapest one i think it's an eight millimeter underlay and i just wish i'd gone for like an 11 millimeter underlay the thicker the underlay and the better quality the underlay the more lifespan your carpet has so it protects the carpet it doesn't wear it down as quickly so just something to definitely consider like what i said before about like the hard working products in your house like make sure you can go the best quality you can afford now we're in the bathroom room on the main floor obsessed once again what i would say is that the taps in here are really cheap i bought them off ebay and i thought i was getting um good quality cross water taps and they weren't they were vado and with taps you know once again it's a hard working product it's just counterproductive if you buy cheap because you buy twice we did super cheap taps in our flat renovation before and within six months the bath tap had fallen off and we had to like replace it on investing in good quality hardware in the house is really important so i would always go once again the best you can afford with the taps we've got the uh, methven taps in our ensuite and they are just incredible and really good quality it's like luxe shower and it just feels great i did actually buy luso stone for the um freestanding tap in the bath and the sink they're really great quality so it was just the shower taps that were the cheap ebay buy that i regret and got completely like hoodwinked on ebay with someone pretending they were a brand they were not so now we are into the spare room i actually don't have anything to say in this room we haven't finished this room yet so next week we are getting the shutters installed it has been four months since we ordered them so very excited for them to get installed and once they do we're going to rehang the curtain pole and once that's done that will be this room and so happy with it it's a guest room and it's also houses all our clothing in that built-in wardrobe so now we're up to the loft and i'm in the eaves loft space area which is kind of my office and makeup station and this is like a really surprise room so there's no regrets here we didn't actually expect we'd have this much space so super happy with this wouldn't actually change anything just once again um the paint on the walls i would go eggshell this kind of circles the whole way through the house so the, all three hallways are connected by one wall so they all have to be the same color we would take the eggshell right up to here um, okay, now in the primary bedroom, which is mine and Freddie's room where we sleep, and I would definitely just say that we totally, a complete oversight, we didn't allocate built-in wardrobes properly here. They were originally intended to go either side of the bathroom door, but then when we decided to install a pocket door, you have to have the same width of the door in the wall so that the door can slide in, and that meant that the door actually sits off center, so we couldn't have that kind of like, um, 
wardrobe either side because one side is really slim i am now looking to get the ikea wardrobes and have the like 600 depth on one side and 300 on the other i think that might work but it is a problem we just have this one chest of drawers and it's my stuff and freddie always has to go downstairs to get changed so it's like a slight inconvenience obviously it doesn't ruin our lives but oversight for sure so if it's going to be your primary bedroom you know it's the biggest bedroom of the house allocate wardrobe space if you're not having a separate dressing room and then finally the ensuite so this was the first room we did so i would say there was definitely the most mistakes made in it it was um the one that had to do all the ordering first so window gate i ordered the wrong size window i ordered that silly tiny window and then my builder was like that is ridiculous try and change it so i did and we decided we'll just go for the max and instead of actually considering the space and what window would fit i just went for the biggest window i could and i just think it's slightly too big now um i wish i had done it maybe a little bit slimmer and a little bit higher up when you are ordering windows it's really difficult because obviously you order the windows like way in advance of the room and the walls being built i think that's something that you just kind of like learn along the way that um windows are and should be left to the professionals <laughs> i really dislike the toilet <laughs> sounds really weird but like i love a wall hung toilet we did them in the main bathroom and the downstairs toilet this was the first one we bought and i looked at the price of wall hung toilets and i was like oh my god no <laughs> can't afford that and i just wish we'd stretched because they are easier to clean under i think they look sleeker in the bathroom i'm not going to dwell on it though because it is what it is and we're not changing a toilet and finally i saw this video after we'd finished the reaper but i saw lily pebbles shared a reel with saying things she was really like happy she did in her renovation and they sunk the medicine cabinet mirror into the wall you know when you're designing a room from scratch you get to kind of pick where those like wall supports behind the wall go and they sunk the medicine cabinet in so that when you're washing your face you never like smack your head on the mirror like so whenever i'm washing my face i smack my head on the mirror and um, because it's just like in the way so i wish i'd done that i think that's a really clever hack if i have any more hacks i will definitely share them but that completes the list of everything i regret in my house i hope it wasn't too extensive <laughs> and like it doesn't obviously go against the fact that i love the house i'm so happy with what we did it's just that you know if we were doing it again i would change those things and some of them are actually changeable so i will be working my way through that list as soon as the like house reno saving budget reloads so yes yeah, stay tuned for that if you have any questions about any of it then let me know put them in the comments and i'll get back to you and i'm thinking of maybe doing a video on like how pleased we are with things and what works really well in the house so if you want that then let me know and i'll do that but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye